In this video, the chosen conflict of exploration is the Russia's invasion of Ukraine, or in other name, the Russo-Ukrainian War. First off, the actors that are mainly involved in this case study are the Russia and the Ukraine. The Russia's invasion of Ukraine began in 2014 is a complex and ongoing conflict that has significantly reshaped the geopolitical landscape of Eastern Europe. This crisis has its roots in Ukrainian history and its political ties with Russia. The fall of Soviet Union and the subsequent pursuit of closer relation with the EU and the NATO. The immediate catalyst for the conflict was the Russia's annexation of Crimea in February 2014. Russian military forces without insignias took control of Crimean Peninsula, which had been part of Ukraine since 1954, and a controversial referendum held shortly thereafter. Crimea purportedly voted for joining Russia, an outcome widely criticized by the illegitimate by international community. The conflict in eastern Ukraine has been characterized by sporadic ceasefire, intense fighting, and a significant humanitarian toll. Thousands of people have been killed, and many more have been displaced from their homes seeking refuge, both within Ukraine and in neighboring countries. The international response for the Russian-Ukraine war has been multifaceted. The Western countries, including the United States and the European Union member states, imposed economic san sanctions on Russia in response to its action in Crimea and eastern Ukraine. Diplomatic efforts mediated by the Organization of S for Security and Cooperation in Europe the OSCE and the Normandy format has made to broker a peaceful resolution. However, the situation remains volatile and comprehensive settlement has been proven um, elusive. Now, here are some key arguments for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Protection of Russian um, speaking population. Russia has claimed that the intervention in U Crimea and eastern Ukraine is aimed to protecting the rights and interests of the ethnic Russians and Russian speaking population in these regions. Moscow has argued that they has um, responsibility to defend these communities from what is characterized by hostile Ukrainian government. Russia maintains its annexation of Crimea was a result of legitimate referendum in which people in Crimea voted to join Russia, while the international community largely views this referendum as lacking legitimacy. Russia has emphasized historical and cultural ties between Russia and Ukraine, particularly in Crimea and eastern Ukraine. This tie has been used to justify the involvement of uh, in this region and its interest in protection. Moscow has cited security concerns as the reason for its action in Ukraine. It views ex expansion of Western institutions like NATO and European Union into Ukraine as a direct threat to Russian security, leading to more assertive Russian stance. Now, here are some key arguments against the Russia's invasion of Ukraine. First is the violation of international law. Critiques assert that Russia's annexation of Crimea and its continuation involvement in the eastern Ukraine contravene the fundamental principles of international law. This includes the United Nations Charter, which prohibits the use of force to acquire territory, and in this case, the Ukraine's sovereignty and territory integrity. The referendum in Crimea was deemed illegitimate due to its lack in independent oversight and its dubious circumstances. The international community largely view this as coerced and lacking transparency. Second is the human rights abuses. Critiques highlighted the widespread allegation of human rights abuses and violations, including the displacement of civilians and the targeting non-combatants. These actions contravene the international humanitarian law. Last but not least, the global security concern. Opponents stress that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has broader implications 
for international security by challenging the sanctity of our borders and the principles of peaceful conflict resolution. It sets a troubling precedent for the regional and global stability. And this is exactly why this issue is important enough to warrant discussion at the UNGA. The UNGA being one of the main bodies within the UN, it serves as principal deliberative policy making and representative organ has played a significant role in addressing this crisis. Numerous resolution and debates within UNGA has reaffirmed the support for Ukraine territorial integrity and called for a peaceful resolution. However, finding a lasting resolution can be exceptionally challenging. And here are some more reasons why this issue is enough. Important. It affects the European security. The invasion had its profound impacts of European security dynamics affecting the stability of the European continent. The UNGA discussion on this issue are crucial because they highlighted the broader implications for the regional and global security, emphasizing the need for peaceful conflict resolution and prevention of further escalation. And its global implications that everyday people not living in the proximity territory can be affected by the circumstances economically. Disruption to the regional transportation and international supply of resources such as gas and food are impacted due to this case study. For some example, the inflation across the Europe, especially in France, Germany and UK are affected by this invasion. And here are some thoughts on how this situation should be resolved. First off, diplomatic negotiations should be engaged. Through revitalized Minsk process with similar framework, all parties including Russia, Ukraine, and self-declared regions like Donetsk and Luhansk People Republics should engage in the direct talks with the aim of reaching a comprehensive ceasefire agreement. Second is the economic support. International financial situations in donors' countries should provide economic assistance to help rebuild eastern Ukraine's infrastructure, provide economic development, and create opportunities for those affected by the conflict. Last but not least, the pressure and incentives. International sanctions on Russia should be maintained and calibrated to encourage compliance with negotiated settlement while providing incentive for the diplomatic process. And this is all for my vlog exercise. Thank you very much for listening.